freedom from British rules, we achieved our unity, our democracy and this constitution which, for which we are having such wonderful life. In day to day life, we are enjoying our freedom. We are celebrating freedom. So we have to remember that a lot of people, they have contributed and dedicated their life for this day. So I hope when you will grow up, you will understand the meaning of democracy and constitution. Right now it will be a bit tough for you all to understand. but. We have to remember them who dedicated their life and did everything to give us such wonderful country. So right now we are going to host our national flag, then our morning assembly will take place. After that we will have very exciting public speaking competition. So I hope you all are ready for that. Ready? So please maintain discipline and keep quiet. We are going to start our day by hosting our national flag. Thank you. Start our national anthem.
is my country. Today is 26 January and in India 26 January is celebrated as Republic Day. It's an honor and pleasure to be here to celebrate Republic Day with all the students. First of all, I wish to congratulate you on Republic Day. On this day, the constitution of India was adopted on 26 January in 1950. First of all, uh, you have to know what is constitution. Always remember that constitution is a set of rules by which a government governs a country. Let me example what is constitution. Suppose you have been admitted to our school, there are some rules in our school, you have to obey the rules, for example, you have certain time to come to school, you have certain time for tiffin break and you also have certain time for the breakup of school and you should obey the rules and obey the teachers. Just like the school constitution and like the students, the people of our country are like the students. After many discussions and considerations, the draft of the constitution, a committee was organized under the leadership of Dr. Dhimrao Ambedkar, uh, he was a lawyer in those days and then a highly educated person in our country. They submitted a draft of constitution in the Parliament of India on 26 November in 1949. And finally, the constitution came into force on 26 January in 1950 and from these days we are celebrating Republic Day till now. It's our 75th Republic Day and it's a day for joy and respect and it's also a day to respect the freedom fighters who have dedicated their lives for the freedom of our country. So students, uh, I would like to conclude my speech by saying that we should respect our constitution and we should take the place that we will make our country better to live in. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Eight 
fresh and healthy food. We have to wash our hands before and after eating. Study regularly and go to bed early. Thank you. follow every day in our life. We divide habits into two parts, good habits and bad habits. Good habits lead us to success in life. Some good habits are we should wake up early in the morning, next brush our teeth twice a day, then we have to take a bath daily. We should wash our hands before and after eating we should keep our things at their proper place. Study regularly and go to bed early. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I am going to speak some few lines about good habits. Habit is a routine which we follow every day in our life. Some good habits are get up early in the morning. Brush your teeth twice a day. Exercise daily. Pray to God every day. Fresh and healthy food. Wash your hands before and after eating food. Be honest. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Ayush Mundar. Today I am going to speak up few lines about important of tree plantation. Trees are important for us to live in. Trees are the main source of oxygen and we need oxygen to survive. Trees help in absorbing dust and other pollutions from air. We get fruits and woods from trees. Trees are used to make medicines. Trees help us to prevent flood. So we need to plant many trees to make our environment better. Thank you everyone. Good morning everyone. My name is Neha Das. Today I am going to speak a few words about the importance of tree plantation. Trees are used are important for us to live in. Trees are the main source of oxygen and to need oxygen to survive. We help in absorbing dust and other pollution from air. We get food sandwich from trees. By getting trees to live in areas of furniture, house, etc. Trees are used to make medicine. Trees help us to prevent blood. Every part of the tree is beneficial to us. So we need to make plants trees to make our environment better. Thank you everyone. My name is Rohan Pundi. My school name is Orange Castle School. Today I am going to speak a few lines about importance of tree plantation. Trees are important for us to live in. Trees are the main source of oxygen and we need oxygen to survive. Trees help in absorbing dust and other pollution from air. We get fruits and foods from trees. By getting these foods, we make various kinds of equipment like furniture, houses, etc. Trees are used to make medicine. Trees are trees help in even to flow. Every part of a tree is beneficial to us. So we need to plant many trees to make our environment better. Thank you. Good morning everyone, respected teachers and all my dear friends. Myself and I global warming. So let's start about global warming. 
One of the biggest challenges that environment is facing today is global warming. Global warming refers to the gradual rise in the overall temperature of the atmosphere on the Earth. This is extremely harmful to the Earth as well as humans. A warmer air disrupts the balance of ecosystem and causes negative impact on nature. These causes are both natural as well as man-made. The natural causes include the release of greenhouse gas which are causing the temperature to increase. Volcanic eruptions and methane are also responsible for global warming. Man-made causes are deforestation, fuel burning, etc. The use of fuel increased carbon dioxide. This is this is this is result in global warming. Steps must be taken immediately to stop global warming. We must begin with the reduction of greenhouse gas. Deforestation must be made and trees should be planted more. The use of automobiles must be limited. All of us must realize art is not well. Live a healthy life. Thank you. Very good. Good morning to all of you, respected principal, teachers, parents, and all my dear friends. I am Z Rodriguez Islama, student of class 3. I am delighted to get a chance to share a few words on the important topic global warming. As we know that global warming has become a matter of great concern for the whole world. Global warming refers to gradual rise in the overall temperature of the atmosphere on the earth. This is extremely harmful to the earth as well as humans. Global warming is melting our ice glaciers. It is not happening because of single cause, but several causes. Uh, these causes are both natural as well as man-made. The natural causes include the release of the greenhouse gas, which are causing the temperature to increase. Volcanic eruption and methane are also responsible for global warming. Man-made causes are deforestation, mining, cattle clearing, fuel burning, etc. The excessive use of fuel increases carbon dioxide. Thus, it will result in global warming. Floods, cyclones, fire. Are some uh, uh, disastrous, disastrous effects of global warming. We take all possible steps to reduce global warming. We must begin the reduction of greenhouse gas. Deforestation must be banned and Trees should be planted more. The use of automobile must be limited. All of us must realize earth is not well and we need to help it to live a healthy life. Thank you. Good morning my respected teachers and friends. Today I will try to shed some light on global warming. The earth is not dying, it is being killed and the people killing it have names and address. Very significant quote by Bruce Duncan Phillips. First let's understand what is global warming. In simple words, global warming means a rise in 
the Earth's average temperature, as already explained by my friend. It occurs in the greenhouse effect fire gases from various human activities, including the burning of fossil fuels, trap the heat in the atmosphere. Let's understand human activities that cause global warming. Setting up factories, cutting down trees and forests, that is deforestation, excess usage of electricity, excess usage of petrol and diesel. As an effect of global warming, we are facing adverse climate in the earth, more health risks, loss of species, rising ocean, poverty and displacement. To stop global warming, we should take the following steps on urgent basis. Save energy at home, eat more and more vegetables, walking, cycling or accessing public transport, more and more tree plantation spread awareness to others. So, now my dear friends, we should take an oath to prevent this problem. I pledge to take individual action to help and protect the environment. I pledge to remind my friends, family and others about the importance of greening their daily activities. We will work as a team to solve this challenge. Together we will succeed. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I am Riyan Seth from class 4. Today I am going to speak a few sentences about how to save art. Save our art. Save our life. Plant the tree, make our earth pollution free. Earth is the only planet in our solar system that can boast or be the abode of life. However, our planet is on the brink of destruction. The years of human torture has taken a toll on it. We are the children of Mother Earth and it is our duty to save our earth. Pollution has been the root cause of the destruction of our planet. From seas to land, even mountains, every place has been contaminated. Our heart is choking and we must act urgently to prevent it from becoming a dead planet. The most basic thing that we can do is to limit our polluting activities. We must add on the three steps of art, reduce, reuse and recycle to minimize the amount of waste we produce. We should stop using plastic. Art Day is celebrated every year on 22nd April to bring awareness among people about the safety of the art. Protecting our planet not only involves planting more trees, but also reducing uh, pollutants to combat the effects of pollution. It is our collective responsibility to ensure our demand and nurturing is for all. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Simran Molli. I read in class 4. Today I am going to speak a few important lines about how to save art. Save our art, save our life, plant the tree, make our art pollution free. Earth is the only planet in our solar system where life exists. Earth is a gift for all the humans because Earth provides us our all needs like air, water, food and shelter to live. It is our responsibility to save Earth. 
air pollution, water pollution, and land degradation on Earth are being threat to life on Earth. We can save the Earth by saving trees, wildlife, natural vegetation, water, electricity, etc. We should not use pollution because it causes a lot of pollution. We should strictly follow all possible measures to control the environmental pollution and global warming. Earth Day is celebrated on 22nd April every year to bring awareness among people about the safety of the Earth. The world is ours and the safety of it should be our top priority. We should use such things which can be reused and recycled again. We should start talking small steps towards saving the earth. We should always remember that if there is no earth, there is no life. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Zek Neon. I read in class 4. Today I am going to speak a few important lines about how to save earth. Save our earth, save our life, plant the tree, make our earth pollution free. Earth is the only planet in the solar system where life exists. Earth is a gift for all the humans because Earth provides us our all the needs like air, water, food and shelter to live. It is our responsibility to save Earth. Air pollution, water pollution and land degradation on Earth are big gifts to life on Earth. We can by saving trees, wildlife, natural vegetation, water, electricity, etc. We should not use pollution because it causes a lot of pollution. We should strictly follow all possible measures to control the environmental pollution and global warming. Earth Day is celebrated on 22nd April every year to bring awareness among people about the safety of the Earth. To ensure the safety of the future generation, we all must protect the planet. The world is ours and the safety of each should be our top priority. We should use such things which can be used and recycled again. We should start taking small steps towards saving the earth. We should always remember that if there is no earth, there is no life. Thank you.